hello there so I hope you're learning well and in this video we'll see how we can save the weights learned by our model and how we can later load those weights so let me get started so uh, I'm using the same architecture which I have been using from past few classes few videos I mean and I have trained it using uh, 40 epochs in the same network and the system is trained now and actually in this case it's taking very less time 4 seconds for each epoch because we have very less data around how much 270 something data but what if we have a very big network or a very big data we cannot keep on training all the time so in that case the situation is that we need to save those weights which is learned by the system and then use those weights later okay and even for you can use those weights for training another data set or testing the other data set so I have trained it and let me okay check okay you can see the confusion matrix of this oh, so let me check the confusion matrix or something okay so this is the confusion matrix of this architecture and let me save this weights okay so for saving the weights what you can do is first you have to give a file name in which you want to save it so I have given weights since my python file name is test cnn so I just give it test cnn dot hdf5 file so the weights will be saved in this file and in order to save it you have to use model dot save weights file name and this overwrite equal to true what it does is if there is any file of such name it will overwrite it okay so let me run this and the weights would be saved okay so now the weights are saved and where it will be saved it will be saved in your current working directory so you can check your working directory using this and it's here in Kerasian and tutorial so let me go there and I have open okay so this is my place and you can see it's uh, weights test cnn dot hdf file so the weights get saved here in this format okay so now this weights will be always there you can use it anytime you want okay so now uh, in order to show you how to load the weights let me restart my model I will uh, what to say whatever weights it has learned it will lose those weights because I'll restart this model I'll recompile this I'll reinitialize this so it may take some time and so now I have restarted the model and it won't give me the same uh, confusion matrix as it was giving after it was trained or same value of recall or precision so let me check the confusion matrix without training the network here so so you can see this uh, precision is 22 percent it's 29 percent 23 percent and even confusion matrix is all error as compared to this one where we're having a precision of 87 percent recall of 87 percent so you can see now that the weights which are assigned to this model now are not good weights and we need to train it but instead now we won't train it we load the existing weights okay so let, this is the file name where the weights are saved and this is how we can okay it should be load I'm sorry here it should be load L O A D so let me run this and it should load the bit so now if I check my confusion matrix of how it's performing on the data so you can see now it's the same 16 while 87 percent 87 percent 87 percent 16 correct classification 17 12 as compared to the previous one where we have 22 29 and 23 percent so in this way we can uh, load the way uh, save the weights and you can load the weights in later stage without training again and again so that should be all for this video good luck